In today's video, we're going to shoot some expired medium format film to see how it performs. Welcome back to the channel. So, the film stock that we're going to be shooting today is Portra 160, so ISO 160 medium format film. And this film expired in February of 2016, so five years ago. We're going to be shooting it on the Mamiya M645 medium format camera. Uh, it's going to be my first time shooting with this camera as well. So I'm excited for that. So excited to see how the film performs, how the camera performs. With regards to the film, um, some concerns with shooting expired film are that you could get nothing whatsoever. So no usable images. The images could have uh, strange color casts on them. And um, they could all be overexposed, underexposed. You could get sort of some uh, some anomalies come up when they get developed or scanned. So we just don't know. So that's part of the interest of today's video, finding out A, if the film works and B, how well it does perform if it does so. So to test the film out, I'm gonna take it and shoot some street photography down in the Kellam Island area of Sheffield. So Kellam Island was a huge industrial area and it's really become run down sort of since the eighties and nineties. A um, lot of abandoned buildings, a lot of buildings that have not got all of their windows, lots of graffiti. So I'm going to go down there, see what different uh, compositions I can find, what colours I can find, and, uh, and yeah, just hopefully get some interesting images with this film stock. So as you've just seen, the film did indeed work. Um, nothing to worry about. All worked absolutely fine. Um, developed and scanned really well. Now, if I do show you the original scans, you'll see that on a lot of these, the colors are quite muddy. However, I don't think that that's anything to do with the film stock. I think that's entirely myself. I think that I underexposed pretty much all of the shots. Um, I probably should have shot it at uh, probably ISO 100 rather than uh, just shooting it at its box speed of 160. Um, especially with Portra because Portra handles overexposed much better than it does if you underexpose it. So probably should have shot it at ISO 100 and I think I'll definitely do that with the rest of the rolls that I've got. So yeah, you can't really blame the film, film stock for that. That's definitely more my problem. Now, the real star of the show was the Mamiya. So the M645, this is one of the oldest versions 
of this camera. Um, I fell in love with it, absolutely. I shot everything, as you've just seen, using the waist level viewfinder, but I have also got a prism viewfinder that I'm looking forward to using. Um, using the waist level viewfinder is still a bit of a novelty. Obviously, I've used that on the Lubitel that I've got, so if you've not checked any of the videos where I shoot with my Lubitel 166B, I'll put them up above and down in the description as well. Um, but the viewfinder of this is so much clearer, so much easier to use, so much nicer to use. Um, it's just a case of getting used to composing when the image is back to front. So as you're looking down through the waist level viewfinder, if you go left, it shifts right. If you go up, it shifts down. So getting used to that is something quite different. But, but as I say, I have got a prism viewfinder for it as well. So I'm looking forward to trying that out as well and trying this in a lot more sort of different ways of shooting. So looking at shooting sort of some portraits, some landscape stuff, um, maybe even some product stuff as well with it. So yeah, cannot wait to uh, to use this again but going back to the portrait um, it must have been stored quite well because five years after its expiry date and it still performed really really well and um, the detail in the images is fantastic it's retained all of that it's still got that really nice fine grain um, and for a for quite a low iso film stock at 160 to, to say that it was quite an overcast day i think it performed really well so i'm really happy i've got another nine rolls of this so uh, plenty to be going through and i'm really glad that it actually worked because otherwise i'd have had nine rolls that i couldn't do anything with whatsoever um the, the idea of shooting expired film is quite appealing as well actually it's like with a lot of film photography where you're shooting and you don't know what you're going to get and i think that shooting with expired film adds an extra layer of kind of mystery and anxiousness to that as well so I do think that I might see if I can pick up some more expired film, maybe sort of a little bit older, maybe from the 90s if I can get hold of some. So keep an eye out for that in future. There's definitely going to be lots more videos with the Mamiya because I cannot wait to get out and shoot with that again. Um, let me know what you thought of the images. Um, I'm going to put my favourite image on the screen now. I don't know what it is about this image. I don't know if it's the colours, if it's the composition, if it's those rubbish bags at the bottom. I don't know what it is about this, but for some reason... I really, really like this shot. And I also like this shot as well. Um, this is, was my favourite shot as I was walking around. I thought this was going to be the one that was going to be my favourite once I got it back. Don't know why it is about that little yellow door, but I just really, really like that and how that's composed against the sign and everything about that building. So those are my two favourite shots of the day. Let me know what yours were. Uh, like this video if you have. Uh, subscribe, share, all of that stuff that everybody on YouTube tells you to do. That's it from me for today. As always. I'll see you in the next video.